students who join us for the Musical Theatre Conservatory will really grow during their time here. My name is Jess Diaz-Griffin and I am the director of the MTC program. Um, hi, I'm Gabriel Logan. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and I go to Elon University for Musical Theatre. Hi, my name is Paola Gaudier. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico, and I go to Manhattanville College for Musical Theatre. The MTC program is a place where every single thing about your art is going to be tackled. You are going to learn techniques about your voice, you're going to learn your objectives for your acting, and you're going to learn what it is to dance with meaning, not just the steps. I think I learned most to have a goal for myself that I knew I wanted to reach by the end of the program and stay true to that while also listening to all of the advice that these incredible professors were giving us. My hope with this program has been to provide a true variety of classes. Obviously, it's a musical theater conservatory, so we want to hit the acting, the dancing, and the voice training. But in my experience as a performer, I learned that the training that you get in school varies so much depending on where you study. I mean, sometimes down to just like, well, this professor took a semester off, so therefore I missed this entire chunk of training in this technique. My goal with the MTC program is to sort of fill those gaps and provide different classes, not just, you know, the standard classes that you would take, but give a, a true variety and fill that toolbox. I think that having a wide range of training will only help prepare you um, further in the long run as you jump into this industry. We have new guest artists and guest masterclass people and teachers um, coming from all around America in all of all the theater scenes all around America. Barrington Stage Company has its own company of associate artists and that makes us really unique. One thing I told a lot of people that asked me what was the best part of the program was the conversations you had with other people outside of the program. Those conversations were priceless. You're going to be working with some of the most hardworking, incredible people in the industry, whether they've been on Broadway or they have years and years of experience teaching and being true educators and directors. One of our first masterclass people was Alan Green, a performer in New York. He's so talented, but beyond his talent and what he had to share about musical theater, he talked for an hour to all of us, all 10 of us, about the business side. Our acting class with Kim Stouffer really taught me my tendencies when I act, like tenseness in my shoulders, and she partnered me up with someone who was very different than me in the way they acted and approached scene work. Now, the work that they're doing in class, the work that they're doing with song interpretation, they brought that onto the stage. And our cabarets, you know, were more than just stand and sing at a microphone. We really pushed them to be storytellers. And they got the opportunity to do that on both the Boyd Quinson stage and the St. Germain stage. So our first cabaret was on the main stage, which is this huge theater, the biggest one in all of town. And I was nervous. So when I got up there, I wasn't nervous because I felt really well prepared. Afterwards, I was like, wow, I just did that and didn't even realize that that was such a big step for me. It was an incredible experience. I was able to bring my guitar with me and I've never performed at such a big stage with my instrument. With such a small group, we were able to get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with our professors. We have dramatically reduced the size of the program by making it a smaller, more competitive group that allows us to really have more time to devote with each student. Everybody gets to perform. It's not like a master class where you sit in the back and only get to observe. Every single student gets the opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with these incredible people. We were able to work individually with each guest artist, which was really cool. That's because of the small class size. I mean, we were able to get up and rehearse a lot more and show ourselves a lot more and learn a lot more. Everyone gets a chance to work individually with longer periods of time with the instructors. And I really loved it. You're training and you're studying and you're doing classes, but you're also here in the middle of uh, this place that produces you know, this amazing summer season. We're in and out, we get to observe rehearsals, meet people, work with some of the people who are on stage, and just really see what it's like to work professionally in regional theater. A lot of college programs don't have a ton of performance opportunities. 
There's training in what professors teach you and the knowledge and information you get from them. And then there's training in what you learn by just performing and being in front of people, acting in front of people and singing in front of people. And there are a lot of opportunities to do that here. You should apply to be a part of the Musical Theatre Conservatory if you are someone who really wants to do the work. People should apply to be a part of MTC because it allows you to experience a real-world scenario. You just learn from being on stage a lot. So if you want to sing a lot in front of people and act a lot in front of people, come here, because you're gonna learn a lot just by doing that. You can try something totally new and fail <laughs> or succeed, and either way, you learn something from it. Describe MTC in three words. Community, knowledge, and thriving. Because we all were thriving. Hard working, eye opening, and incredible. <laughs>